Just what is dementia? Throughout this series, you'll hear me repeat how important knowledge is. And I'll also restate often that it's what we don't know that we don't know that costs us time, money, energy, and pain. Over the past eight years, I've had hundreds of families say their loved ones have dementia. Well, here's a classic and profoundly important matter. They don't know the entire story. Now, the important question to ask is, is it Alzheimer's, dementia, or just aging? Well, examples of treatable conditions that can cause memory and behavior changes that sort of mimic what we think is Alzheimer's or dementia include depression, hypothyroidism, changes in blood sugar, sodium, and calcium levels. Also, low levels of vitamin B12. Another condition can be normal pressure encephalus or chronic alcohol abuse. Also, some medications. But here's the really great thing. Those are all treatable. So it's a matter of doing the work with the doctors. Let me touch on two surprising areas that can mimic memory loss. One is hearing loss. This is something that an awful lot of wives think their husbands have because they didn't hear what you said. They didn't remember that you said that. Hmm. Well, we often think it's selective recall, but let me tell you a proven fact. Very often, we have diminished hearing, and it does happen with aging. And also, on a serious note, if your husband served in the military, they probably have a very natural reduced hearing capacity because of shelling, guns, ambient noises. So have the hearing checked. I'm making a really important statement here. I'm emphasizing this for a reason. I cannot tell you how often when somebody has their hearing checked, that is a major solution to why they aren't responding, why they aren't recalling. They have not heard the message. That's treatable. So we tend to emphasize hearing loss for the fellas. Let me share something just for the ladies. A number of years ago, and I'm not going to tell you just how long ago it was, I was at my doctor's and I was saying to him, I, I'm so perplexed. I'm not remembering things. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I just can't seem to grasp things the way I used to. And I just don't know what's going on. I'm really concerned. Mr. Charm smiled at me and he said, hmm, well, you're going through menopause. That's what the problem is. And then he started to just move on like that was just okay. That's when I learned a lot about menopause. Now, here's another good thing. This does change. We kind of sweep through the part of the menopause when our memories are really impacted. It's a chemical imbalance, and that will be corrected. So if you're going through the stages of life when you are in a menopausal time, think about that when you start questioning why you're not remembering everything. This will pass, and you don't have Alzheimer's or other form of dementia. These are treatable, and I really want to emphasize that. Let's just not jump to conclusions, okay? Good. Now, when we talk about dementia, we need to be talking about an umbrella term. This is a great big umbrella. You're going to be shocked to hear this. There are 85 to 90 types of dementia. Yes. Now, Alzheimer's is one of them, and it actually represents 70% of the diagnoses. But these, there are other dementias also, and that's really important to know. The most prevalent dementias that we see today include Lewy body, frontotemporal lobe dementia, vascular dementia, 
and that's a result of oxygen deprivation to the brain from a stroke or heart attack. Parkinson's is a type of dementia. Korsakoff syndrome, which is alcohol-related, is a type of dementia, Hodgkin's disease. In another more prevalent term you're hearing today, chronic, traumatic encephalopathy, CTE. That's a lot easier to say. You're hearing about that because of the NFL. We'll talk about these things a little bit later, but I wanted to tell you about some of the more prevalent types of dementia that are being diagnosed every day. So dementia is not a diagnosis. Dementia is a syndrome. It's a collection of symptoms. Here's a very important message. Dementia is an incomplete diagnosis. So if your doctor says, well, it's dementia, it's part of the aging process, uh, no, no. I want you to become a really strong advocate for your loved one and for yourself. I want you to ask for comprehensive testing and determine just what form of dementia or dementias is really suspected. Think about it. If you were told you had cancer, you'd naturally want to know, well, what type do you have? Well, all, all cancers aren't treated the same way. Of course, they're treated specifically to the type of cancer that you have. Well, the same is true for dementias. So just what does it mean to have dementia? Well, first of all, two parts of your brain are actively dying and one of them involves your memory. Secondly, it can't be fixed or stopped. Third, it's constantly changing. And fourth, it's terminal. But you know, so is life. Remember, dementia is an incomplete diagnosis. So now you've learned that dementia is a symptom and why it's important that you learn just what form of dementia you or your loved one is suspected of having. I'm gonna be covering testing options in future conversations too. Now let me just recap this conversation because I covered an awful lot of information. Dementia is a symptom and there are treatable conditions that can cause memory and behavior changes that are not dementia. We have 85 to 90 types of dementia with Alzheimer's being the most common, about 70% of the diagnoses. Dementia is not a complete diagnosis.